Addressing a media briefing in Colombo today, officials of the Ceylon Petroleum Corporation expressed their views on the state of the company and their future plans. Heart of our operation is the refinery. The refinery is 50 years old, almost. And the existing refinery can cater only for the 30% of country's demand. But the plans are underway to increase the refined capacity up to 120 barrels per day by year 2025. So the total investment and all these things are listed here and we can recover. That's the wonder of this project. We can recover this within six years. You see, not like other projects, no? Certain projects, I don't know when mention the names, but you see, it will take 110 years, 70 years, 30 years. But this project, you can get this recovery within six years. Though these are the areas where we have to invest. So if you say expected saving is about 400 million US dollars. That means every year we, we can build about 20 kilometers of expressway out of this profit. Views were also expressed regarding the losses suffered by the Ceylon Petroleum Corporation. We were the, we are the only state institute, I think, who has to pay 300 billion to state, to state banks. Why is that? We were making losses every year. Is it our fault? Are we paid this lavish salaries? No, we are not. If you take the overhead component of all our operations for about 60 cents out of a one liter of petrol, it's very negligible. Then why is that huge losses? The big picture is that we are selling all our products below the cost. If you take diesel, super diesel, petrol, super petrol, over all these products we are selling at a lesser price than what we are importing. I, we are paying about 1 billion rupees per month as interest to state, to state banks. Krishanta Vikramasinghe also noted that steps have been taken to loosen restrictions that the CPC has in place for registering suppliers, adding that this could lead to healthy competition among suppliers and would result in lower prices.